So I was recently on a flight to Orlando with my dad and about halfway through the flight, I got up to go to the bathroom. I don't know if you guys have ever been in an airplane bathroom, but it is one of the weirdest little broom cupboards you will ever step in. For starters, it is unbelievably claustrophobic. You stand up straight and that's basically the only way that you're going to be able to fit in it. Secondly, one entire wall is just this huge mirror because who doesn't want that when they're using the bathroom? And then you got your toilet, your sink, that's basically it. So I step into this luxurious broom cupboard of a room and as I'm washing my hands in there, I notice something a little bit peculiar. First off, that there are no paper towels, so I had to go Secondly, I looked down and I noticed this slot in the wall beside me. Now, for those of you who don't understand this ancient hieroglyph indicating what this slot is for, it is a slot for used razor blades. Now, I guess it's good to have that and everything, but that just sort of gets you thinking. Who the heck shaves on a plane? I mean, imagine being in there, shaving your face, your legs, whatever, and suddenly hearing, ladies and gentlemen, please pass in your seatbelts, we're experiencing some turbulence. Bro, that is not going to end well for you. End well for you. But even if you are the type of person who would shave on a plane, who shaves to the point where they use up an entire razor blade? What kind of extraordinarily hairy people do we have on these planes? Are you shaving your dog? And speaking of weird things you find in the bathroom, once we actually landed in Orlando, once we actually landed, it's a bad joke. My father goes into the airport bathroom and as he's leaving, he sees this. What? I, uh, I don't even know where to start with this. First off, let's consider where this machine is. This is a machine in an airport bathroom. Who the heck is going to want to touch that? I mean, I'm no germaphobe, but I'm not going anywhere near those buttons. Secondly, is it really that crucial to you that you get a detailed review of a person's bathroom experience? Why would anybody want to know how your bathroom experience was? Which I guess in retrospect is what I should have asked myself before I filmed this video. Yeah.